but uh, all it means is that uh, in our jurisprudence, uh, the petitioners will always have a big burden to carry when you have an electoral commission which is not open and transparent. The best way for this court to have made a decision was with the servers to be fully open uh, and all the election materials be placed before the court as uh, would happen in a case where justice has to be rendered. As you know, and I am saying this again without fear of contradiction, we wanted a comprehensive audit of uh, not only the technology that was uh, applied by the electoral commission, but we wanted a proper audit. Uh, although time was of the essence, but I think we had uh, sufficient time to carry, carry out a proper audit, including looking at the issue of the foreign intruders, the Venezuelans, which you notice the court avoided uh, in many, making any comment about those intrusions and invasions of the system, the uh, technology, the IT structure, uh, that again the court did not refer to, but probably in the judgment, the recent judgment that is coming on the 21st, uh, they will say something about it. And therefore, I want to end uh, by saying uh, the rule of law should prevail. Court normally has the last word in making a statement as to what is the law of the land. But as citizens who are sovereign, we are uh, we're entitled to disagree and disagree very vehemently. Uh, I think uh, the court, in conducting the proceeding during the hearing, uh, I think they were patient. Uh, they listen to us. It's only the outcome that we do not agree with. Finally, I think uh, our clients, the two petitioners, Raila Molodinga and Martha Karua, may be addressing another press conference, but uh, we are happy to talk to you.